How you going out there, fellow comic book fans and nerds of all of my subscribers that I love to death. Mr. Dark Phoenix is here with my special vlogging guest, Spider-Man. And uh, it's another vlog episode, another vlog, a weekly vlog. And this topic, I, may, I might do topics of sorts, like topics. I want to try and meld everything that I love into one thing. Like, I have the Relationship Gaming Guru, I'm going back into that for my advice. The Comic Stand for News random stuff that I do for previews and news and stuff and reactions and whatnot but I want it to be a little bit more personal since I'm starting to since my since my base is starting to grow I want you guys to I want to grow also I want to start something new for all you people that are just either starting to look at my channel or just basically getting uh, the idea of watching me and why you should subscribe to me so the topic this week is Amanda Wallace meat on her bones she needs to be fat because yeah I, I, I like the skinny one on Arrow. She's a great actress. I'm not saying she isn't, but Fat Amanda Waller from the cartoon and Fat Amanda Waller from Smallville is just... Yeah, she needs to be fat because she's the wall for a reason. She a big black woman that don't take shit from nobody who work at the DMV on the side and that's why she needs to be fat. Now, on Arrow, she a little skinny thing, so don't get me wrong, she ain't fat, but, you know, I'm going to give her some time to be in that mindset, in that badass moment where she make me afraid of her skinny little ass. But right now, nah, I ain't scared of her yet. Not yet. I mean, that, on Smallville, who, it was Pam Greer who did it on Smallville, and she did great. I wish it would have lasted a little longer, but the way Arrow's going and the way that they're opening up the universe, it seems like we need that intimidation factor from her. And don't get me wrong, she's only been in like, what, I think three episodes? So, I'm not going to judge her entire performance based on those three episodes. But later on down the line, I'm pretty sure she'll prove me wrong and they'll prove me wrong because they're really great uh, writers and whatnot. But just a little bit of comedy for this video. I wanted to, I've always had this thought in my head and never knew how to go about it until now. So, um actors slash people that I think would be really great as Amanda Waller and let's go down the list. I think I have like two or three names but uh, one, my one pick for um, Amanda Waller, fat Amanda Waller is Tyler Perry as Medea. <laughs> Tyler Perry as Medea as Amanda Waller because tell me that is not hilarious. Tell me that is not funny. Like as you're sitting there right now probably either turning this off because I said Tyler Perry's Medea as Amanda Waller or you're like what the fuck is wrong with me but just think about Tyler Perry's Medea and think about Amanda Waller think about what the funniest nonsense would go down from all of that and tell me you ain't afraid of Medea she's gonna pull a Glock out of nowhere and just be like I told you to get this damn Superman you're gonna be like okay I'll get him just stop what you're doing and I'll do it um someone else that I think will be really good as a fat Amanda Waller's Oprah, <laughs> you this may be the last you see of me because I might be killed. But Oprah will be a really good Amanda Waller. She already has that factor where she's like insanely rich, and she can lead people and all of this. So Oprah Winfrey in charge of the Suicide Squad would be really great because Oprah Winfrey and Harley Quinn <laughs> would be like the wackiest arguments on the planet, and I could not tell you how excited I would be for that. Who else would be a really good fat black Amanda Waller? I want to say Precious, but she's so damn young. But I could, she mad. She just naturally mad, so I got to give it to her, man. I'd be like, Precious, I'm sorry. I won't ever do that again. Or Monique, big Monique that beat Precious ass. She going to beat the people who disobey her in the face. Tell me you can't imagine that shit. So <laughs> there are my four picks. For fat Amanda Waller, we got Tyler Perry's Medea, Oprah Winfrey, Precious, and Monique. Four powerhouse, strong African-American actresses and one actor who dresses as a woman to basically portray Amanda Waller up besides Angela Bassett did it in that awful Green Lantern movie. She'd be a great skinny one too because I love her acting. And the new one, I forgot her name, but basically that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to this vlog. I'll have more vlogs weekly, every Wednesday, sometimes on Tuesday, or sometimes on Thursday. Shut up in advance, because sometimes I get late.
But thank you guys so much for watching me and for watching this channel. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you agree with any of my choices. Comment down below which big black woman you can see being Amanda Waller. Whether you think she should stay skinny or whether you think she should be fat. But thank you guys so much. I'm going to catch you guys next week and this week, various weeks on for more great content. And thank you guys so much. Always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'm going to catch you guys again.